Activision just got exposed because- Oh yeah, don't we all love to hear that? What's up, my toxic gamers? How are y'all doing? Get your overclock keyboards ready. Get your fat doobies around. Don't drink Bud Light. Don't change your gender. Stay focused. We're gonna get into this video because Activision apparently got exposed. We are hearing this is gonna be the video of the century. We're gonna find out what just happened. We're gonna try to analyze the goods. This is coming from the homie Mr. T Likesify. Love the guy. I love the guy. I love the guy. So like this video. Let's go for five likes and uh, let's check it out. The new Call of Duty title has just been confirmed to be oh, Black Ops Gulf War within yeah, 2024. Yeah, yeah. And some of the practices that Activision has wanted to do with inside this game have confirmed for round based zombie fans that we have actually been left in the dark. It is oh, really sad because on yeah. this article. <laughs> Bombocat! <laughs> Yo, it is sad. I get it. Uh, honestly, bro. I feel the homie. I understand the language of pain. I'm not laughing at him. It's more like, hey, we're laughing together, okay? In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, in sync, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Like, this is exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. So we're laughing together, not at the homie. Because I, I understand, man. I was like this guy, bro. When they ruined zombies, I was crying on the inside, though. I was crying on the inside, but they ruined it. This happened all the way back, it's been years, so now it doesn't even pain me no more because I went through that pain! I cannot go through that again, you feel what I'm saying? But the homie's seriously going through and we're gonna try to calm the situation down, let's see. Article made by Windows Central, y'all are not gonna believe this. They have wanted to put round base zombies on the back burner for pre-order bonuses. So it says right here, we've also heard that Activision discussing a large pre-order early access bonus for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 with yeah. several days for the base game and maybe even weeks for Dang. access to other modes, which potentially means that you will not be able to play COD Zombies on the base version of the game. It's going to be deleted from the base version of the game and be made as DLC. Like hey, yo, what the... What? Nah, bruh. Nah, dog. You need to reread that. That's not what it said. It said that if you, you know, they're looking to have, like, if you pre order the game, right? You're gonna get the game several days before the launch. And maybe even weeks before, you're gonna get to play other modes like zombies. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be removed from the game. Like, wait, what? I mean, bruh. bruh they've done with world of warcraft creating some backlash which is much deserved in my opinion and yeah, also agree. they've seen All that the backlash has deserved agree this will tie in obviously with warzone and because of modern warfare 3's financial success it makes me wonder if they are going to continue doing this with the co-name of this game you can see on the article here being black op 6 and i think this is a really bad idea because what yeah. this could <laughs> potentially mean is that the listen man call of duty and not being a bad idea i mean come on man come, come on man they call of duty and not being a bad idea that's just impossible but i think the homie and this has happened to, this happens to everybody right like we read something and we understand it differently as well i'm not gonna be like dropping a deuce dropping a like a flashbang on the homie i think he got it wrong he didn't understand it well this reminds me of the time when i also did a big boo boo like that too on a, on a video and then i was like okay let me let me just let me just trim that out let me just edit that part out so it has happened to me as well so i'm not gonna go too hard i mean it happens uh, maybe he just woke up maybe he forgot his brain cells on the bed bruh. maybe he had a bud light recently I nah bruh i'm telling you man don't drink bud light it's gonna change your gender bruh don't do it don't do it allegedly allegedly the only course. form of round based zombies we will have is off the base game it might not even be made as actual dlc it's going to be probably added something later on in terms of seasonal content i just hope that this this leak right now is confirmed false because right now it is yeah! it's coming from the homie tom henderson dog it's not racist but hey man it's coming from the homie tom henderson so it is dead ass real right like let's be real guys like he leaked the lucia bruna bruh from GTA 6, the game that we all thought would never come out, the game that we all thought would never see the light of day, the day uh, 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 in just a few days from now, we are gonna be getting the trailer for GTA 6. It's happening. 
I never thought that was gonna happen, but it's finally gonna happen. I mean, damn, bro, we waited years, and that Sega leaked the Lucia Bruna years and years ago, though. So he also leaked uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 19, Modern Warfare 2022, Call of Duty Vanguard, Battlefield 2042 as well, the tornadoes uh, that we had in Battlefield 2042. He leaked everything, so alongside Windows Central, he leaked it. But I think Brother got it wrong, though. Brother is confused right now just an alleged rumor it is not confirmed if this leak is true uh, but, but that's true though it's a, it's a rumor though. false as of right now but the fact that round based zombies could potentially be shoved off to the side has been something that i have been suggesting for quite some time now but considering the fact that this article states that this is the longest time treyarch has had to make a call of duty game so there's really no excuses as to what this game could be they have Agreed. three Agreed. studios in treyarch one in tech Texas, one in Los Angeles, one in also Vancouver, Canada, working on- What? For real? Dead ass though? Okay, that I didn't know though. Uh, yeah, 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 I thought when he said three, de uh, three devs, I was gonna be like, uh, Sledgehammer, my balls, Infinity Tar, Treyarch, three years, 3,000 devs. <laughs> three years, 3,000 devs. But this time, these seconds gonna have four years! And we're finding out that Sledgehammer My Balls actually used th uh, 30, and currently they have 3,500 devs. Bruh. Yeah, and they're producing trash. They're producing straight garbage with three years time and 3,500 devs. I mean, maybe these things need like four years, 4,000 devs. And this time they're getting four years though, but maybe they're also gonna have uh, 4,000 devs. I cannot wait for another uh, Blame Truth video where he's gonna be selling that, like, where is that, where is that? Let me actually get this one here. Where he's gonna be selling this retard helmet. You feel what I'm saying, guys? On this game this game has absolutely no excuses especially because of the fact that a lot of round based zombie fans have waited four years since black ops cold Agreed. war for this game to drop and the fact that it might not even have round based zombies in the game itself is now really it will. bad considering uh, it, it will it will be, be, based on that information it will now it's a completely different story if those suckers actually don't have it though but based on this information based on this rumor and leak we're gonna have it it's just saying that seconds that are gonna pre-order seconds that cannot wait seconds that need to be hit by a stun grenade and that are gonna pre-order the game without even looking at it i'm talking about those seconds okay i'm not talking about you chads okay not 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 you okay not you but seconds that are gonna pre-order without looking at the gameplay without even seeing one single pixel those suckers are gonna be getting early access to zombies potentially weeks before and it makes uh, it brings me back to the time when y'all suckers remember right like when we had black ops 4 black ops 4 came out in 2018 uh it was supposed to come out in november like all the usual call of duty games but it ended up coming out in october because of red dead redemption 2 and it was the year of Rockstar Games, and allegedly, uh, if the rumors are true, we're gonna be getting GTA 6 by the end of 2024 or early 2025. And but uh, and maybe this is the reason why they're like, <laughs> we need to we need to let people uh, suck on a on a Call of Duty zombie uh, and uh, play the game a little bit early, pre-order it, and we gotta launch it a little bit early so we get the sales count as high as possible because every time Rockstar Games comes out we are not the number one in terms of sales so that that's what it means not that it's not gonna have it now admittedly though the the way it's going i do agree that they might remove it though the for example we didn't even have like some round based maps in modern warfare 3 zombies we're hearing that it's gonna have it in the future but it didn't even have it at launch is what i'm trying to say and what the homie's trying to say though that think. there's just been so much of a massive wait and i've said this before like sure maybe my man kevin drew tweeted out that there was going to be no call of duty zombies where round base doesn't exist but i can slowly see it already as soon as black ops cold war changed the dlc cycle from being dlc to seasonal pass based i realized that because round base zombies is free there is going to be a day where we cease to see call of duty zombies as a main game title and i that, that's a good point that is a good point separate from um like that that black Ops 6 leak pre-order bonus zombies or no zombie zombie zombies uh, yeah you know what i mean right like separate from that that's a good point though ever since zombies became free we we noticed that first in Black Ops Story it was not free. You had to buy the season pass. 
and the season pass content in comparison to what we used to get back in the days, for example, Black Ops 3 Zombies, one of the best zombies uh, game in my honest opinion, alongside Black Ops 2 Zombies. The season pass content used to be premium, used to be amazing, but Black Ops 4 season pass zombies content was not up to par. The, the, the quality was not there. We were getting remaster maps, you know, like DLC 3 was Nuketown remake, and it wasn't even that good. Uh, DLC 4 Call of the Dead remake, and it wasn't even that good, right? The original was was way better the color palettes were very very good the map was beautiful was easy on the eye didn't even have that clutter and the gameplay was just amazing the guns were amazing i'm talking about the original black ops 1 call of the dead and the original black ops 2 zombies nuketown it was very very good very easy on the eye but dlc3 i believe alpha omega in black ops 4 zombies the remake version it was AIDS, <laughs> completely cancer to look at. And Call of the Dead, I remember only playing once and I just dipped though. I didn't even like it. They even butchered the story. They even butchered the cutscene, knowing that it was basically the finale of Zombies. It was supposed to end and it did end, but they are rebooting it right now. Bruh. Because they need that money, right? They need that money. So what I'm trying to get at here, Black Ops 4, last game to have season pass and the quality deteriorated. We saw that in real time. And now we don't have season pass. Now listen, I'm not saying that they should bring back season pass. These things are so incompetent that even if they bring season pass, even if they charge us $100 for, I know it used to be 50, 60, right? Uh, for season pass. Even if they charge us $100 in this day and age, let's be real man the quality is still gonna be trash right the way they are handling the game the games their games uh but but i do see this uh and i understand his point now that it's free they, they are not even incentivized to put in effort they're not even like hey why even bother let's put all and we're seeing this happen they're putting all of their efforts in making those 20 dollar bundles in making that uh e e e e e e e e e e okay i gotta i gotta get rid of that picture too though friendly area line they're putting all their efforts in making these friendly uavs online these bundles 20 dollar 30 dollar bundles that's where their priority is going and it's sad to see that I have to agree. I have to agree. Four years later, we're probably already at that point where Call of Duty Zombies for round-based zombie maps could genuinely just be DLC for the game. And I just really hope that this is false, like I said, because Black Ops Gulf War is looking up to be one of the most insane Call of Duty games, especially Call of Duty Zombie games, we have received potentially in the last decade. Like, the leaks are looking great. Let's go over every single one of the new leaks that we have realized right now. The first one is that Gobblegums are returning. And the fact that that is a huge- No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo, I love that. I mean, obviously, I covered that news. I know about it, that Gobblegums are coming. But the only reason they're probably coming if this guy is because they want to make more money off of the gobble gums. It's going to be the microtransaction. Indeed, it was a microtransaction element even in Black Ops 3 Zombies. But it felt kind of like good. It connected with the story. Jason Blundell did a very phenomenal, very good job with the liquid dominiums. Gobble gums, in my opinion. I know suckers don't like it. A lot of suckers didn't like it. A lot of suckers loved it. I loved it. Uh, and I have to say, if you didn't like gobble gums, I mean, you could have played without using the gobble gums, right? I know suckers said that it made it easy. It made it overpowered. But zombies, it felt good because nowadays these devs they are nerfing stuff in zombies. Like how, bro? It don't even matter. Zombie. Oh, multiplayer. I get it. Maybe one weapon is so overpowered that you gotta nerf it. But zombies, bruh! Like, I mean, bruh! bruh. Y'all suckers don't need to nerf any weapon stats for zombies or anything, bro. Like, zombies is just pure fun. Let us be overpowered. Jason Blundell uh, actually realized that, but he's still balanced. He was smart. He was like, okay, so some suckers love challenge. If you love challenge, don't use the gobble gums. If you love uh, to just be overpowered, you want to kill time, you want to have fun, you want to watch a movie in the background, you want to listen to a podcast, and you want to enjoy the game, uh, well, you can play it easy mode, overpowered mode, you can watch your... Because I used to play zombies in the background uh, and listen to a podcast, listen to maybe even watch a movie at the same time, right? And nowadays, you, you, you cannot do that. I used to do that even playing the multiplayer. But now it's just very, very hard to do that with skill-based management. Uh, but Gobblegum's returning, I like that, but let's be real, they're going to be going crazy with microtransactions, though.
which thing is sick. So it would just be so dumb for them to bring back Gobblegums and then put all the round-based zombie maps as early pre-order access DLC. It doesn't make sense. Why would they gate the community to not want to play the game at that point, you know? absolutely does not make sense and then also what we know is that this game is gonna have jump scares like in black ops 3 that give you new easter eggs that's really cool the game is also going to have an objective based mode we don't know if it's going to be outbreak we don't know if it's going to be the modern warfare 3 zombies dmz mode we know it's going to be in the game considering modern warfare 3 zombies absolute success right now with the casual fan base and a lot of casuals are still playing this game and grinding the weapon camos even though my goodness the weapon grinding is absolutely abysmal and i know they're gonna keep the weapon grinding the same it works exactly like cold war does where it's only a as a brown man i demand a zombie screw i demand original zombie maps as a brown man i demand no microtransaction i demand multiplayer to be free i demand my brothers to enjoy zombies i want listen man i hope zombies feel like zombies look at this map right revelations dog any the beginning any any the beginnings in the beginning uh when it first came out man it was so high bro i remember this man i climax sickest climax everybody was shaking though uh but then it kind of felt like re 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 and seconds got bored off it because the wait was so long and understandably and now looking back at it it's looking kind of fresh in and it, the reason it's looking so fresh is because obviously time has passed, no doubt about that, not denying that even. But but the reason it's looking so fresh right now is because of all the trash maps that we've gotten after this one, though. Uh, admittedly, Black Ops Cold War Zombies gameplay was better, though, but but th the maps just kind of felt soulless, though. I might be the only one, maybe I am the only one. I, I'm gonna say, man, the gameplay was amazing in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Uh, but the maps kind of felt multiplayer-esque, and that's the only thing that I didn't like. Like, this feels zombies. This definitely feels zombies. Certain amount of elims per game that give you a certain amount of XP, and then it starts halving every single time. So it's only worth ever getting, like, 750 total zombie elims within one game, which, I, they gotta fix that, bro. And I'm gonna be honest, we practically know with this next game that even though there is Gobblegum, we don't know how the system is gonna work. Is it going to be a monetary system? Is it going to be a system where it I, I hope it's like earnables and also, uh, also, yeah, they're probably gonna do it. So, guys, I'm not even gonna like sugarcoat it. It's gonna be microtransaction and monetary system, but I hope it's like earnable as well. I hope Liquid Duinium comes back where you play the game, uh, and you get it. I hope the earn rate is fair though. Um, now that it's under Xbox. Uh, hopefully hopefully they're gonna make it not painfully grindy but the fact but if it was not under xbox though then i would have been like it's joe over right they're gonna make it extra 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 monetary they're gonna go crazy they're gonna get their schlongs involved and it's gonna get turn out to be bad but now there is a little light of hope just a little just a little bit it involves you going for some sort of free system in the game like with cold wars menu a field upgrades and upgrading yeah. the perks and all that yeah. i hope that it doesn't involve an actual monetary system so that you can unlock and gather as many of these yeah. gobblegums as that, that's that's just a dream they're gonna add it i'm just hoping that it's also earnable and that the grind is not painful physically possible i've always wanted to see a marketplace for this type of stuff but i just don't think call of duty will ever allow you to legally sell assets on their game they will never, ever, ever do that. Even though with the newest Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, we have DMZ literally is that. Like, you gain acquisitions and schematics, and you can give them to players. All they need to add now is to make some really cool ones that are actually, like, just worth something, you know? that's <laughs> That would just be sick. Yeah. But regardless, Call of Duty 2024 will track. have operators. We I mean, it's impossible under the regime of Activision. Maybe even under the Xbox regime, though, because Activision is still there, though. Like, but... but Activision is basically the parent company of Treyarch, Infinity Tart, Sledgehammer Games. But now, on top of that, Microsoft is their parent company. Though. So, I'm not sure. I, if Microsoft wants that, uh, and they want to be very consumer friendly, and, I mean, say whatever, right? Like, maybe behind the scenes, they're not. I know Suckers always want to bring in conspiracies, this and that. And sure, maybe they are not, okay? Listen, I don't know. I'm not claiming to know this. But what I'm trying to say here is that the public perception and the way it's going and the way it's feeling like, with especially the Game Pass model, they are very consumer friendly, though. At least uh, in terms of public perception. Deep down, I'm not sure. At the end of the day, we all know it's a business, though, so they want to make money, more money than God, and 
and we all know it's like uh, they are sh uh, wolf and sheep clothing. Same goes for Microsoft, same goes for Activision, Sony, all the bigger companies. This is how the mafia works apparently. But click on this video on the screen because some seconds were caught cheating and some of them were arrested dead ass though. Oh, shit. Click oh, on shit. this video on the screen. This is absolutely an insane video, boys. Check it out and I will see you right there.